Hey, Betty Fish. Still the 6th of January, 2018. And uh, I'm here in the Wall Street Journal. And I clicked this article because the headline, I think it was Drudge. Anyway, it said something about a ritual. So, you know, when I see something about sleep and rituals, you know, I take a look. It's, I'm curious. And, man, as soon as I click this and, and this opens up, I see this image and I'm like something is about this image here and you know I don't know how else to put it but these little musical notes here let me just show you I might as well just rip it out here I got the little guy in on my uh, little photo thing here right these little notes here now correct me if I'm wrong but do, do the music notes also go upside down like that? Like normally? Because, like, as soon as I saw these, I mean, first they see the, the Zs, okay? This, to me, this is just showing the world. The world is asleep. That's all there is to it. And the, the Zs are up here in the heavens. That's Jesus. 888. That's what Z is in numerology. But, these music notes that he's laying on, I'm looking at him, I go, wait a second, those look like, um, what do you call it, Hebrew letters. That's what they look like to me, okay? And they look mostly like these three right here. The seven, which is Zayim, the eight, which is a het, and the nine, which is Tet. And if you look at these little these little uh, music notes notice how that one there is the one that looks kind of like the nine right so you'll, you got to get rid of the little dingle balls here because those don't belong there you know what I mean but the upright ones look just like the the het you know what I mean if we look at those those are you know turn that upright and this one looks exactly like the seven except take the little uh, the little ball off the end of the the stick there it's just flipped around the other way so that's what i saw i that's all i can tell you is i'm seeing like what is this all about so you know it doesn't really make sense to me as far as how they're arranged i mean if that's a nine and that's an eight and that's a seven so you get nine eight seven eight seven 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 eight seven and he's got his arm hanging down here you got the waning crescent moon it's just something about this. That's all I'm telling you. There's something about it. And then I go into the article. And that's when I kind of kind of confirmed with me that I should probably just, you know, bring this out. You know, the sleeping world. Something's about to go on. You know what I'm saying? Because I started reading it. And it says, falling into a dream state can be anxiety inducing for around 25% of Americans who say they have difficulty sleeping most nights. Some turn to music, hoping gentle sounds will guide them to the land of Nod. Uh, right there, first paragraph. Now, first thing, you know, because I'm looking at these as the numbers. I see seven again. So I see another seven and then another seven here. Seven, seven. I don't know. This is what I see. But the land of Nod. I've never heard that term used for, like, going to sleep. I've heard of, you know... uh what do you call it, Can, uh, sand land or whatever, sand man, I don't know, but I've never heard that used for that term. And even if it is, right, say it's like some European term or whatever, why would you capitalize the nod if you mean like nodding off? That, that, that three, those three words right there come directly from the Bible. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod. On the east of Eden. This is at right after Cain kills Abel. God catches him. The whole thing. You got to read it to get the context of this. But that's pretty wild. You got to admit. Cain knew his wife. And she conceived and bare Enoch. Okay. This is a land of Nod. On the east of Eden. So I see that in there. Now I have to keep reading. Right. I need. You know. Something being said here. You know what I mean. My spirit was basically buzzing when I saw this image. I couldn't, I'm still not exactly clear on what it means, but it's something. I know that. 
the auditory system serves as a watchman, <laughs> says Dr. Basner. And not only that, check it, this guy's name is Matthias Basner. Matthias is Matthew. So, yeah, uh, it just goes on, you know. You come down here, in a recent meta-analysis of 20 studies, 95% of, which is 7-7, seven, seven, 14, of 1339 insomnia patients. Seriously now? 1339? Divisible by 103, 13 times, you know? 1339, you see what I'm saying? That's a, a pretty coincidental thing. And, and it goes on and on. And down here it talks about how the professor knows of a study, regularly listened to music, and dozed off faster, but there were only 12 participants. He doesn't believe the evidence is sufficient. See, I read that as there were 12 apostles, but they weren't sufficient to, you know, tell everyone about one of the rules of sleep rituals is whatever works for you do what thou wilt this to me is just speaking to in a sleep world and to those of us it's telling wait you get ready i'm just telling you matthias matthew the seven seven sevens right check this out i go to matthew i had it here so just be patient with me matthew oh, come on let's just go, let's just we'll just go directly to the source how's that do, 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 Matthew 7, 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. For what kind of man is there of you whom... If your son asked you for bread, would you give him a stone? Or if he asked for a fish, would you give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? So ask him. Do you know him? Seek him if you don't crazy stuff but yeah yeah links in the description that's that there's more but you know oh he falls asleep check this out to the sound of silence which is a whole nother place we could go go look at the lyrics of that song by simon and garfunkel <laughs> oh man in the image the 888 Seven, 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 you tell me. I'm just, phew, don't know. 888, Crescent Moon, Sleeping World. There you have it, folks. I hope this isn't too wackadoodle for you, but had to share it. Jesus is coming, you know. It's just a matter of time. If you don't know him, you need to. Seek him out. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 